Baby doll sheep faces. They sure are cute. But let's talk about three different problems that they can have. Clogged tear ducts, ticks, and chaff. Like the lacrimal gland in humans, sheep have preorbital glands. Immediate to the eye is a concavity or depression that likes to get clogged up with this breed. So this tear duct area can collect a matted up, crusty mass, what I would unscientifically call an eye booger. It'd be interesting to know what it's actually composed of, but it does need to be cleaned out. So you saw here with Leroy that his came out pretty easily. It was on the small side, and he also does not have a very deep concavity. This will vary in anatomy with each sheep. Some sheep are more prone to this, and I do believe there is definitely a genetic factor. If you don't remove this for them, it could become infected. Shearing time is a great time to do this. Before we remove Bonnie's eye booger, I happened to notice that she had a tick located on her lower eyelid. You wouldn't think of sheep getting ticks with all of that wool, but they do get ticks commonly on areas where there is less wool, such as around the eye. I happened to catch this one early before it had time to grow in size. It was difficult to see the tick because it was small and it's dark colored against black wool. Once this tick is removed, I will start removing Bonnie's eye booger. Bonnie is 12 years old this year, so she is one of my senior baby dolls. Now she in particular is very prone to severe clogging of these tear ducts. Because it is more severe, we are not able to just lift it off with our fingers. It is very matted up and we need to actually cut underneath of it with the scissors. You can see that Matt is covering her eye and helping to hold her still during this delicate procedure. The matted up area is very close to the skin. So you need to go very slow and take your time as you are cutting the hair that is dry underneath of the mass. Fortunately, the baby doll breed is pretty docile, so they will sit still pretty good. Also, Bonnie trusts me because she's 12 years old and we've had her for many years. If you can have a helper and a shearing stand, it's also very helpful. Success! We finally got it off. And that is a very large one. It's actually quite hard and crusty. Next, I want to show you an example from last year. Last year was probably the largest eye booger I've ever taken off a of Bonnie. And you can see there was one on each side. Next up is Mo, and he is a 13-year-old baby doll weather. His tear duct is clogged, but it's not as severe as Bonnie's. And I would say it's more woolly and less crusty. What I find interesting is that I read that sheep release pheromones from their preorbital gland. And this does make sense to me because anecdotally, I have noticed that on my rams, and rams are the intact males, that they have a more pronounced tear duct. So moles came off a little bit easier, which was nice. So go back into that tear duct area and clean out any remaining material. In Mo's case here, this is pretty dry, but sometimes it can be very crusty or even wet and moist if an infection is starting. This brings me to the next topic, which is chaff. In other words, plant material from the hay that sticks into the wool on their face. Breeds of sheep that do not have wool on their faces tend to not have this problem. However, with the baby dolls, they can really hide a lot of vegetable matter in those cute little faces. Ideally, you wouldn't feed your sheep any hay that has seed heads in it. However, in reality, this is not always the case. We do grow our own alfalfa here, but we've had a drought the last two years and it's shaping up to be a drought this year as well. So sometimes we're just happy to get any hay at all. To remove all of this chaff, I basically use my fingers to tease open the fibers. When they're open, it's easier to cut it off with the scissors. Now I will be hand trimming his entire face with the scissors rather than using an electric shears. I feel that I can be more thorough and do a better job this way. Mo here is a really good example of just how bad it can get. He really does have a lot of chaff under there. Keep in mind that the wool 
especially across the top of their nose, is very dense and compact. And so you really do need to tease it open in order to get it all out. It really hides underneath there quite readily. Next, I will be trimming his entire face with the scissors, and I'll meet you back when he's all finished up. Aw, Mo is so well behaved, such a good boy, and so patient. Here's a nice close-up of that tear duct area, so you can see what it looks like afterwards. It looks so much better. Now he looks like a handsome, happy sheep. I hope you found this video helpful and satisfying to watch. If you like sheep videos, subscribe to my channel and check out my playlist.